On the morning of September 27 at 7.10 a.m., Azerbaijan, along the entire line of contact, launched active military actions against Nagorno-Karabakh. Immediately, the press secretary of the President of the Republic of Artsakh issued a statement urging peaceful civilians to avoid going out on the streets and find a safe shelter. The spokesperson added, the whole responsibility for the mentioned hostilities fully lies on the shoulder of Azerbaijani military and political leadership. A few hours after the beginning of hostilities, the Ministry of Defense of Azerbaijan announced about launching a so-called counterattack to which the Ministry of Defense of Armenia responded by stating, any military with basic knowledge will argue that planning a counterattack takes weeks, not hours. Moreover, minutes after the official announcement of the escalation, the Azeri Turkish media started publishing materials from the front line, which came to prove that the provocation initiated by Azerbaijan was planned in advance. The president of Artsakh, Arey Karutunyan, invited a sitting in which he declared a martial law and general mobilization. This is a fight to death, which we accept nationally and will win nationally, the president said. Immediately, news started circulating that there are victims among civilians, particularly one child and one woman were killed as a result of the military actions. Civilian buildings as well as schools were bombed throughout the country, including in capital Stepanakert. The adversary, using military air force, unmanned aerial vehicles, armored vehicles and artillery, attacked various parts of the front line. Shortly after, the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation issued a statement saying, According to the available information, the situation in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone has sharpened dramatically. Intense fires are proceeding along both sides of the contact line. News on losses are being received. We call on the parties to cease fire immediately and start negotiations to stabilize the situation. Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia in his turn announced, We will fight for the sake of the homeland, for the sake of victory. By the decision of the government, martial law and general mobilization are declared in the Republic of Armenia. Minister of Defense of the Republic of Armenia David Tonoyan also stated, It is already obvious that by not learning from previous glorious defeats, the Azerbaijani authorities have once again overestimated their capabilities, for which, I am sure, they will be severely punished. This adventurism will have severe consequences for the enemy. Our response will be tougher than ever. Shortly after, the National Assembly of Armenia invited an out-of-turn sitting. The outcome of the meeting was the following. The Republic of Armenia is the guarantor of the safety of the people of Artsakh, and we have no other choice rather than to defeat the adversary. Alongside military actions, the Azerbaijani site started a cyber attack across the Armenian social media as well. Nearly 10 Armenian news sites were hacked and misinformation was spread to the Armenian public. By the end of the day, Armenia applied to the European Court of Human Rights with a demand for an interim measure against Azerbaijan. The key part of the request was to enforce Azerbaijan to stop the bombing of civilian objects along the entire line of contact between the republics of Armenia and Artsakh and refrain from targeting citizens, civilian objects and settlements. As of 9.30 p.m., Azerbaijan site lost 200 manpower, 4 helicopters, 27 unmanned aerial vehicles, 33 tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, and 2 armored engineering vehicles. Armenian Unified Info Center issued a statement saying that according to intelligence, about 4,000 militants from Syria take part in hostilities unleashed by Azerbaijan. The human rights defender of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian, also shared an announcement stating that one pregnant woman was seriously injured as a result of shelling of civilian settlements by the Azerbaijani armed forces. The ombudsman added, thanks to the professional intervention of our doctors, both the child and the mother were saved. During the night and the following morning, the battles continued with various intensity. As of 5 p.m. September 28, the Ministry of Defense announced about 59 Armenian servicemen killed as a result of the Azerbaijani aggression. More than 200 others are injured.